Welcome, this is your five minute geography lesson. We're covering theme five, element nine, tropical rainforests. Outdoor courts off, thank you. I'm Mr. S and I'll be your five minute teacher. We're reviewing the distribution of tropical rainforests and some of their characteristics. So like all good geography lessons, let's start with a map. The distribution of tropical rainforests we discussed very briefly in our last lesson. We said that it followed the equator. So you can see this luminous green light, um, colors here are the tropical rainforests. Now they do follow the equator and we discussed the fact that this is because the equator has very warm but also a very wet climate which is what the vegetation in the tropical rainforest needs. To be more strict with the distribution it's technically 23 degrees north and south of the equator or along the Tropic of Cancer in Capricorn. Now we talked about the climate if we have a look at the climate graph here the purple bars represent the amount of rainfall and the green line represents the temperature. So the temperature remains fairly consistent through the year. There is a slight increase around the northern hemisphere's summer going into autumn, which corresponds with a decrease in rainfall along that period. However, it's important to note that the amount of rainfall even in this area is still a lot more than other biomes would receive. The layers of our tropical rainforest are a feature that you do need to know. So if we start at the ground layer, we've got the shrub level. So that's sort of plants that get from um, waist to shoulder height. And there is a lot of competition for light as there is in every layer of the rainforest. We then have the under canopy, which are the smaller trees. The canopy, which is the average tree height and then the emergent layer, which is a few trees, which are the exception, that grow higher than the rest. Now, the reason why we've got this circular diagram down this side is it's showing you the proportion of sunlight that reaches into that layer. So the emergent layer receives the more sunlight. And then the further down you go towards ground level, the less received. So the shrub layer receives very little sunlight at all. The reason why we have an emergent layer is because all vegetation is competing for sunlight. It, the vegetation in the rainforest is adapted to grow incredibly quickly. So when one tree dies and leaves a space in the canopy, the seeds and small saplings in the shrub layer respond incredibly quickly by growing in a matter of weeks to fill the gap. The emergent layer, these trees have grown higher than the rest out of a response that they, to get the most sunlight possible. So they're higher than the canopy itself. Now talking about adaptations, I'm going to have a look at two in a bit more detail. So we've got buttress roots to start off with. Now we know that trees are trying to grow incredibly quickly to make the best use of the light available in the competition. But the soil in tropical rainforest is actually quite poor. There's only about a meter's worth of good soil that's got nutrients in it. So the roots of these trees are not very deep. Now, tall trees and shallow roots do not make for two good friends. They will end up falling over very, very quickly. So an adaptation that these trees have made are what are called buttress roots. Most tree roots appear underground. These are part above ground and part below. And their sole purpose is to anchor this really tall tree in place in very narrow soil. So it's a really wide base to support a fast growing and tall growing tree. The second one are these wooded vines, which are called lianas. Now, they exist generally in the shrub layer, but because there's very little light down here, they need to try and get as much as possible. So what they've done is responded by growing up the sides of taller trees. So they effectively grow around a tree to get higher and to receive more sunlight. Well, that wraps up our five minute lesson. Be like the trees in the emergent layer and keep growing by completing the Try It Now tasks for homework. Class dismissed.